Tilapia, with their rapid growth, are highly valued in aquaculture. However, their prolific breeding can lead to overpopulation. This is where sex reversal comes into play. It involves steering young fish towards a male population. Male tilapia grow faster and use less energy on reproduction. This shift brings significant advantages for aquaculture. It maximizes yield and streamlines the farming process. Hormonal manipulation is the most widely employed technique for tilapia sex reversal. This method involves administering specific hormones at the early stages of fish development. These hormones, often similar to naturally occurring testosterone, guide the fish towards developing male characteristics. The timing and dosage of hormone administration are crucial for successful sex reversal. The treatment is most effective during the fish's sexually undifferentiated stage. This is typically within the first few weeks after hatching. During this period, the fish are highly receptive to hormonal influence. The dosage needs to be carefully calibrated. It must be sufficient to induce male development. However, it must also avoid potential adverse effects on fish health and the environment. The selection of the appropriate hormone and its precise administration are crucial. This ensures the effectiveness of the sex reversal process. It also guarantees the well-being of the fish stock. While hormonal treatment remains the most prevalent method, research into alternative sex reversal techniques in tilapia is gaining traction. These alternative approaches aim to address concerns regarding hormone use in food production. One such method is environmental manipulation. This involves altering factors like water temperature or stocking density. Studies suggest that certain temperature ranges can influence the sex ratios in some tilapia species. However, the effectiveness of this method can be inconsistent. It is heavily dependent on various environmental and genetic factors. Another area of exploration is the development of genetically all-male tilapia lines. While this approach holds great promise, it requires further research and development. It is crucial to ensure genetic stability and minimize any potential ecological risks associated with introducing genetically modified organisms into aquaculture systems. The pursuit of alternative sex reversal methods highlights the aquaculture industry's commitment to sustainability. It also emphasizes the importance of responsible practices in food production. Section 4. A Step-by-Step -step Guide to Hormone-Treated Feed Creating hormone-treated feed for tilapia sex reversal is, well, a meticulous process. It involves incorporating the hormone into a specially formulated feed. This feed is then provided to the fish during their early developmental stages. The first step is to acquire the appropriate hormone. This is usually a synthetic version of a male sex hormone. The hormone is then mixed with a binding agent. This allows for even distribution within the feed. Next, a commercially produced fish feed, specifically designed for tilapia fry, is procured. This feed is finely ground to facilitate hormone incorporation. The hormone binder mixture is then added to the feed. It is crucial to ensure a homogeneous blend. This will guarantee consistent hormone delivery to each fish. The hormone-treated feed is then dried and stored in a cool, dark place. This helps maintain its potency until it's time to feed the tilapia fry. Section 5. Reaping the Rewards. Benefits of Sex-Reversed Tilapia. Sex reversal in tilapia. Farming boosts efficiency and sustainability. Predominantly male populations grow faster and larger. This leads to increased yields and higher profitability. It also curbs uncontrolled breeding, minimizing resource competition, ensuring adequate nutrition and space for healthier fish. Uniform size simplifies processing and marketing, meeting global demand for this nutritious fish. Section 6. Navigating the Waters. Ethical and Environmental Considerations. While the benefits of sex reversal in tilapia farming are undeniable, ethical and environmental considerations are crucial. The use of hormones has been debated. Concerns include hormone residues impact on health and the environment. Regulations ensure safe hormone levels. Responsible practices minimize hormone use and explore alternatives. 
ethical guidelines and sustainable practices help the industry thrive.